I just don't feel led to become a fan of a brand. I wouldn't place my life to one product or one brand. What would I get from becoming a fan of a brand? I don't understand. I don't. For me, I don't see the point of it. Just haven't ever ever th thought about it or focused on it. I suppose I just. I know you always get that like you know the advertising on the right hand side of it. I never. I particularly don't ever look at it. No, I haven't. I've been a fan of like just music. That's about it. I haven't gone friends of any brands. I haven't not seen so much about brands on Facebook really. Like if I had seen some brands, like I don't know, for like kind of like makeup or like other kind of products that I would that I would use, then maybe yeah, I would become a fan. But I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any pop-ups on on brands other than um, perhaps trying to sell me things um, directly or. So I haven't actually seen the fan aspect of brands. Possibly the Xbox. It's not I'm getting any information out of it, it's letting other people see that it's I'm a fan of something. So uh, in the same way that in stores you have people arguing over two different concepts, it's, it's the exact same thing. I show my allegiance or my preference over one brand to another uh, and it lets other people know what I'm into as opposed to me having to tell them. For me, it's not... It doesn't. It's not a message, really. It's you know, if, if someone's interested in the same band as you, you've got the con connection there. But if someone's interested in the same bottle of water as you, also likes to drink Fanta, it's not. It does it, to me. It's, that's, it kind of negates what Facebook's about. Really, it's about socialising. It's about you know your opinions on things. I don't really care about people's opinions and what flavour pasty they like from Greg's really. When I use um, an internet search engine, you still get things popping up and I find that quite frustrating because usually I'm short on time and I don't want to be bogged down with something I'm not looking for. So yeah, I probably would be quite irritated by that. No, it's Facebook. <laughs> it's, don't, yeah, I think it's fine. If they want to be on there, that's fine. And it doesn't bother me. I just don't happen to look at them much at all. I'm not an avid user of Facebook, so I don't know if ads keep popping up unless you subscribe to them. But if I want to keep away from them, I can... If I choose to keep away from them, it doesn't really obstruct my usage. I don't think it's intruding at all. I just, it's just like, it's just um, marketing and stuff, really, isn't it? So I'm not, I'm not bothered by it at all. I don't think that's intruding from that aspect. But from a sales perspective, if I want to buy something, I'll, I'll see it through other media, and it's probably more appropriate through other media. I wouldn't say so. I mean, I think, yeah, I don't think I, I, I personally, I, buy, I would, if, if I do get fed up with, with seeing seven people have become a fan of Fanta, then. I get my, I kind of my eyebrows are raised more towards the people that are becoming the fans rather than the fact that fans are on their fans are obviously going to try and do, do, as, do as much possible.